Welcome to POST, show studio uh, little series that gives you a tiny uh, 10 minutes, 5 minutes uh, panel to let you see what our experts thought about a certain collection. Uh, we just seen uh, Grace Wells Bonner's show that happened last night at the Serpentine within her exhibition. And I'm going to ask my panelists what did they think about such an incredible narrative and such a deep, deep experience that was her first, actually, uh, women's wear collection. And was it a women's wear collection? I think it was a women's wear collection in the way that Grace um, interprets and approaches everything, be it fashion, be it art. I think what I'm more excited about is how it's become a real return to this embrace of um, theory and critical theory and um, intellectualism. I think the collection itself was really classic, which I think is something she's also said herself. Um, but it's the kind of classic that actually feels like it's embedded in something much, much more important. Um, and I think um, the women's wear in it, although it wasn't displayed on many women, it transcends any of those kind of quite boring discussions about um, gender and race. Um, I thought it was a great collection. It was really nice to see um, her evolution from her early collections that were a lot more uh, like kind of embellished. And I, I feel like this collection was a bit more wearable. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I loved the use of um, kind of the sportswear looks with uh, kind of the brooches and the kind of like small little details, the feathers, um, those are the kind of looks that really stood out to me and I'm really excited to see what she's going to do next um, and if she'll be showing uh, women's wear collection each season, so yeah. To me it was a men's wear show with four women's looks included, um, but I feel as though, you know, thinking about what I, would have, what I would expect for Grace to show in women's wear, it kind of was that. It was pieces of men's wear that women could wear. Um, yes, there were you know, some more tailored to the female body, but I think it was definitely much more heavily a men's wear collection. I was particularly like blown away by the finishings. I thought like the use of feathers and the trims and the brooches and the beading were great. I thought the, the you know the shoe collaboration with Monona Barnett was beautiful, and you know the the hats were great. Um, I think it said a lot about race and identity and culture, and I think knowing the history of Howard University and what it means to a lot of African American people. I think it really came through, you know, I think it was a strong showing of how you can use research and intellectualism and be an academic, but within a creative space. I think the collection was really strong, especially from a commercial side with the American University theme behind it and the whole aesthetic with the, ta like the, the tailoring and the oversized top wear that she'd added in there really had a bit of a streetwear vibe, which is my kind of area that I'm in. And that, that embellishment and the, the bits of embroidery and feathers coming off really showed the background of the collection. So all in all, um, a very interesting experience, especially. And uh, being there, you immediately forgot about women's wear, men's wear, a style said because what matters for uh, Grace is much deeper than, you know, gender and, and that kind of thing. But I would like to leave you with one of the sentences that I managed to write down from uh, the poem read by Ben Okri uh, at the beginning of the, of the, of the event, of the, of the presentation, because it, it was very emotional. And he said, shine a light so bright it burst all the darkness. And I think that's what matters for Grace. Stay tuned for much more to come and goodbye.